heartily my campaign to come here because for us development is more important than politics. We are here for the future of this country. The most important people in this country, one country.
We are known for corruption. We are known for that kind of things. We are known for violence. Which some people still want to perpetrate. Those who dare say to them, no, this is time for election, not time for violence. So, just last week, the New York Times announced that Syria is on the front line of an ed educational revolution. What we have been talking about. Um, for, I mean, the New York Times is one of the most respected newspapers in the world. Outlets. And for them to say this means a lot. And interestingly, one of the journalists was here and he actually came to Martini. This is just a few short years after I audaciously announced my vision that if Syria could become a meaningful part of the 21st century global economy and to become resilient, progressive, and prosperous nation, every child must get access to free quality education. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not have access to free quality education. I have to pay, and when I did not pay, I was lashed at school. Let's listen. When I did not pay, I was thrown out of school. But we have seen the need for each and every one of you to access education without paying and a lot of other additionalities. I'm glad to try that our development partners, parents, guardians, teachers, community leaders and citizens have all shared in and embraced my progressive view for the future of Syria. For information, I put Global UNESCO High Level Steering Committee for SDG 4. With the UN Secretary General, I could share the electronic education summit in September last year. What does this mean to us? Last year, when the United Nations Secretary, uh, the United Nations Secretary General wanted to talk about the many problems and challenges in education around the world, he called for a summit of world leaders. And in that summit, he chose me the President of the Republic of Australia, to co-chair the board on transforming education. That is why I say this is a project that we have all undertaken as a nation. Maybe at this doctor, can I pray your indulgence to give a round of applause to our teachers from These people are doing a marvelous job for us. My leadership is acknowledged globally for championing our child education, conditional learning, innovative education financing, and for promoting radical inclusion in education. That is very important. Thank you. 
for them. Why? Because we realize that some, pa some parents cannot provide enough for their children. And you know, an empty stomach is the worst thing to do to a classroom. Even the teacher, when they are hungry, they, they can't support them. We have no choice about little kids. Their stomach will make more noise than their mouth, you can say. Not so. So, we are providing that just to make sure that there is no excuse not to go to school. And what Madam First Lady will talk about is, in addition to the doctor of medicine, she is making extra effort out of official realm to provide sanitary pads for all guys. Two years after 80, 70 days in an academic year, just because they do not have the suitable material to take care of themselves when they see their mentors. And what is making it worse for them is the fact that we, we, talk, we, we, we say that um, menstruation is taboo in this country for most traditional periods. Also, we are putting them right there. So, period are ready to talk about that. Also, I see when I said, okay, quite well. The natural occurrence that we should be talking about to our children and helping them go through that. So she is providing that. And you know what? The number of kids that are becoming pregnant has reduced. The number of kids completing high school have, have increased retention. The girls, uh, we can notice um, a palpable sense of high esteem among the girls in this, in this country now. The girls are, are performing the boys in the last exam to university. Two of the best results came from guys. We get to give them a number of And I said, we need to be one for Akaji. Um, we have prayed so much, and uh, what we cannot do, she took on and has been doing it so excellently well. And that is why her campaign for the best has become known around the world. And so far, yes. Do you know about that in the beginning? Thank you. We are a 
We are a social democratic party. We care about the children of the people. We are compassionate. We are not here for cosmetic development. When we invest, we make sure the outcomes are positive for the people of Australia. What I'm saying to God this afternoon takes our education transformation drive to a much higher. When I say it, it is already good, we are taking it to another level. It is important by the provision of an excellent constitution that access to education is a right. Quite unlike what our opponents say. Let me say this. Let me know some people are not in the color of culture. They don't believe in education. And I will say it here. They don't care about education. They think we are wasting money. Ladies and gentlemen, for you, the young folks, there is no way you are going to succeed in this 21st century without quality education. Oh, it's big. 
built without the foundation. And education is a long, lifelong process. Dr. Bundu City here, my professor with the brain here, is still learning. Sometimes even for the grandchildren. They, they, they teach them how to use the computer. So it's a lifelong process. Don't avoid it. Don't be shy about it. So, you know, when you want to build a skyscraper, you give it the best foundation because it's going to carry a lot of weight. What we didn't get was foundation and learning. That class we were called BD Button, preschool. That is where you build the foundation. Uh, Professor um, Buri was saying, uh, talking about uh, memorizing. Um, you know what the point is? At that level, when kids have computational skills, they can read, write, and understand what they read. And they can do simple calculations or the principles and other things that we call uh, transferable skills. Let me tell you, the work becomes easy for the teachers. Once you know how to read and write, understand what you are reading, and you can express that in other ways, the whole education process becomes easy for you. Because education is about reading. And you are going to be asked questions, and you should be able to not only impress your teacher, but to tell your teacher that you understand what you have read and that you are responding to his or her questions. And that happens, has to happen in foundation, preschool. So, it is so important to us that we have said it's going to be compulsory. This app says that. And interestingly, you know, when the United Nations Secretary General decided to choose five champions of education in the world, one from every continent, you know who they chose? No, you don't know. They chose Salo. Your president. Your president is the champion of foundational money. The only president in Africa chosen by the Secretary General of the United Nations. I don't complain. I don't complain. The action, what we do in Parliament, what we do in Cabinet, the direction, the leadership, the, the sheer mass of what we have done as a government made them to acknowledge me that way. The act also qualifies the progress that we have made in creating inclusive and safe learning environment at all levels. It asserts the right of every child in Sweden to an inclusive, disability-friendly, and physically and psychologically safe classrooms. In particular, pregnant girls, parent learners, pregnant girls, parent learners, that and which we don't want them to go back in school. We have to encourage them. Children from poor homes, children living with disabilities, and children from underserved communities must have the opportunity to succeed in school. It is no longer about us, the rich people who can afford to pay. Every child must go to school. Within schools, this is important, corporal punishment and other forms of degrading punishment will no longer be allowed. <laughs> Does anybody know what corporal punishment is among the people here? Corporal punishment. There are many ways to discipline the child. We are saying corporate punishment and other degrading punishment will no longer be allowed. I was very, very annoyed. And um, the Minister of Education, basically senior, was there when the journalist told me that in Bombardier, in a particular school, he refused out of ethics uh, to give me the name.
child who had lost both parents and uh, the latest of that was the mom. He lost his mom. He could not pay for the school fees and he was beaten and driven from school in Bombay here. And also, and do you know what is wrong with that? It is morally unacceptable. But besides, government is paying for them. How can you do that to a child? What do you think will become of that child? Why am I saying this? It is our responsibility, everybody from kids going to school, to parents, to uh, other leaders in society. We will pay this money so that we take the body off the kids and their parents. Let them go to school. Nobody should be asking for any other money or punishing them. This commitment that every child receives an inclusive quality education does not stop with government and government assisted schools. Within six months of the operation of this act, all private schools must meet the ministry's criteria and standards for education service delivery. If those schools fail to meet these standards or approval, we will receive them. To ensure that government delivers on our promise to learners in Sierra Leone, the Act establishes new bodies to guide and advise the ministry. A national board of education with diverse representation from faith-based groups, primary chiefs, teaching service commission, the West African Examination Council, and more. We ensure the government continues to improve outcomes across board. The Act also considers the non-former sector, the, the, the non-former education sector, and. Uh, that every important voice and participation of course the youth will be involved in this. A non-former education council will ensure that non-trauma and adult education meets the needs of learners outside the former education system and the wider society. An education youth advisory group with representation from every district will continue to hold the government accountable for their money. In consonance with our big five commitment for 2023 and the first group to live in, to leverage technology and innovation in governance and development, this act ensures that those responsible for policy and decision making, choose your full and evidence-based and data-driven process. No longer you will spend two or figures or just think what you You have to be informed. Policy, information, and other decisions must be informed by data. Every student will be given a unique learner identification number that the ministry will use to monitor and ensure access, learning, and health outcomes, and completion and transition pathways. So, to begin our discussion, we have a kind of special number. In that number, we be your ID number. Whether you come from anywhere, that number is given only to you. That way we can monitor where you are in the academic system. Because we want to make sure that every child goes through education. No one should be left behind. So, let me close by reiterating that this act is truly transformational. As I've noted, it restructures and reforms the basic and civil secondary education system to make it free, safe, accessible, compulsory, relevant, and all inclusive. It's all looking reforms over everything from curriculum and pedagogy to school environment school governance, expanded access to education, quality control, emergencies and infectious disease outbreak, and educational management systems. These wide-ranging reforms bring new life into our 
for Osana Spiritual, for basic and senior secondary education in Sierra Leone. It is indeed the dawn of a new era for education in Sierra Leone. With great optimism and confidence that in this legislation we have transformed the fortune of our nation through education, it is now my singular honor next to be. This is the bill, the act, and I'm now without any formal thinking of the expert.
supply of the science equipment has helped to receive our sciences at various schools. Thank you. 